While the stakes may not match those of other DC Comics events, absolute power has certainly made the situation as critical as ever. Amanda Waller is deploying fail-safe Queen Brainiac and a legion of Amazos to strip superheroes of their powers and imprison them under the pretense of saving the Earth. Before we continue, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to stay updated with more comic book content like this and help support small content creators like me. Absolute Power Issue 2 begins with a useful recap featuring a giant computer screen displaying the captured and incarcerated heroes. She discusses an imminent frontal assault with Dreamer and Failsafe, informing Dreamer that she needs to be mission ready and subtly mentioning that she has someone who will help guide them through their mission. Now, with many heroes out of action, the remaining heroes, including Superman, Batman, and the Titans, must plan their next steps as the stakes intensify. Meanwhile, the heroes who remain free are taking refuge in the Fortress of Solitude. They're safe for the moment and are trying to decide who should lead them. We witness the remaining members of the Justice League in conflict over who should lead the charge against Waller's forces. Nightwing and the Titans arrive, swiftly taking down several characters who claim to have the best strategic mind for this battle. Nightwing has been portrayed as an equal to Batman, and this continues to hold true. He delivers an inspiring speech that showcases his leadership, perfectly fitting the character. A strategy is developed, and the room fills with renewed hope. Superman informs Nightwing that his fortress contains an armory filled with weapons collected over the years. He adds that it also houses a secret emergency weapon that can only be used in dire situations. He continues explaining that he and Batman designed tactical suits for the Justice League with unexpected enhancements. Suddenly, Waller's minions, including John Kent appearing in cyborg form, launch an attack within the fortress, demanding that the remaining heroes surrender now. Superman is stunned and heartbroken to see his son altered and manipulated. However, John quickly hits the heroes with a powerful blast that leaves them staggering. Nightwing, now in charge, commands his team to fight back. Superman is taken aback by Brainiac Queen's presence on Earth and demands to know her intentions with his son John. She replies that she seeks knowledge, has gained allies, and is loyal to Mother Amanda. She declares, there will be no further questions, as she ensnares the heroes and sends them through a portal. Superman begs his son to resist Brainiac Queen's influence. In the next scene, the Queen snaps Plastic Man's bones while acknowledging his suffering. The Amazos enter the fray and join the battle. One of the Amazos is destroyed but quickly regenerates, declaring, we are indestructible, as he launches an energy beam at Batman and Nightwing. Another Amazo seizes Batman by the throat and says, Batman, you created Failsafe, which in turn led to me. Hello, Grandfather. Batman responds by hitting him with ultrasonic waves and telling him never to call him Grandfather again. Dreamer, surveying the destruction caused by the Amazos and Brainiac Queen, begins to question Waller's ruthless methods and considers leaving her team. John, while being pulled by Flash, tells Superman there is a way to end the conflict. Superman asks what he needs to do, and John grips his arm, saying in a sinister tone, Join us! Wonder Woman attacks and injures Brainiac Queen after she shatters the bottle city of Kandor, which contained thousands of Kryptonians miniaturized by Brainiac. Meanwhile, Flash prevents John from attacking Superman by pulling him away with his bike. Nightwing encourages the heroes to use a makeshift portal he and Blue Beetle constructed. As the heroes escape via the portal, Brainiac Queen intervenes and emits red solar energy to block Superman from leaving. Superman initiates Protocol Black Zero to trigger the self-destruction of the fortress. The Queen ensnares Superman, but Dreamer intervenes to help him while sacrificing herself in retaliation for the suffering Waller caused her family. This self-sacrificing act by the Dreamer ultimately cost her life as she's decimated in the explosion. Waller receives reports of the fortress's destruction as John begins to understand the consequences of his actions. While John wallows in regret, Brainiac Queen grabs him by the throat, lifts him into the air, and reveals that, as a Kryptonian, John's super senses will be used to locate the heroes wherever they have escaped. Behind the scenes, Green Arrow catalogs the weapons Waller seized from the Justice League archives while watching an hourglass and ominously saying, Time's up! 